Girl, I be at work all day every day. I don't need to have my hair done all the time. Only time I get my hair done is when need be. And y'all know how I come when I come, so it don't matter. You still dating or are you back on the map? Girl, that vaccine. That's one thing I cannot wrap my finger around. If you're dealing with an insecure person, it's gonna be bad and it's gonna be girl Kenzie and we are back with another video I know I have not did a sit down in so freaking long and I know y'all miss me so freaking much and I miss y'all too so today as you guys see by the title we're gonna be doing an updated Q&A on me and what's been going on and all that good stuff so before we even get into this video y'all know Valentine's Day is coming up y'all and I know y'all all wondering, like, what should I give my man for Valentine's Day? Or what should I ask for Valentine's Day? Because I know, you know, some people do give their, their men a uh, gift for Valentine's Day. But, you know, it's really for the girls. So, I'm going to just show y'all what I got in the mail today. And let me just tell y'all, I've been wanting these flowers for so freaking long. I've been wanting these roses for so freaking long. And y'all know a girl loves some roses. One thing about me, I love roses. Like... And the fact that I get roses all the time and they die so fast, I be like, ugh, like I want them to last for a long time. So what I got in the mail, y'all gonna love it. And before I even show y'all, make sure I subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below and like this video. And let me just show y'all, let me just show y'all. Cause I know y'all waiting like, girl, what did you get in the mail, girl? Y'all know I'm always getting something in the mail. So I got these freaking roses from Rose Forever, y'all. Look at these like look at these roses y'all and look at the box let me show y'all the box the box is marble y'all and i have the 36 count they have a nine count a 16 count and a 36 count and i want 36 count because i just love them so much and they smell so freaking good oh my god they smell so good and they're they last i believe up to a year or maybe even longer y'all they don't die right away they don't need to be watered and that stuff and they are a, a company that's based in new york and when i tell y'all these roses are everything they have circle shape and i believe square shape i'm not sure if they have any other shapes but i know they're having a valentine's day special um right now and y'all better go tell y'all, listen, I got a code that y'all can use. I'm gonna put the code right here on the screen. And I'm gonna put the link down below. So y'all can go and shop. Y'all can either buy yourself some. Y'all can send the link to y'all boyfriends. Whoever, whoever gonna buy you a gift for Valentine's Day. Y'all can literally send the link to them and they can go and purchase. And you get a discount using my code. Make sure y'all go and shop. And y'all know y'all be saying all the girls with these roses and these boxes. And y'all be like, y'all know y'all be like, I want them. I want them. Well, this is your chance now, boo. You get a discount, okay? And you're not going to regret it. I cannot wait to set up and decorate and set my roses up. Like, bro. And then, look, it also come with a top. You can close it and you can open it up. And it's just like this. Bam. But, yeah, y'all, they so cute. And they come with a bunch of different. You can get any different type of color that you want. They have a bunch of different colors. I just went with, like, the nudist cream color because um, I'm going to use it as house decor. You can also use it as house decor. You can use it. You can get it for a gift. Use it as house decor, whatever you want to use them for. But they last for a very long time. And, yeah, they just so cute, girl. So, make sure you go shop. Send a link to somebody if you want those. Or go buy yourself some. Treat yourself a Valentine's Day, girl. And don't forget to use my code. So I have um, a pound of snow crab. I have some corn. And I also have some rice. I made some rice. And then I also, I made some shrimp, y'all. I, I was going to get some shrimp, but I don't know if I wanted it until I left. And I was like, I was at the grocery store and I was at the deli. And I was like, I want some shrimp. So I ended up just getting me some shrimp. And I made some shrimp. And then I also have me some Simply Lemonade. I also have me some lemons. So let's just get into the food real quick. Let's see what I got. These are my crab. 
my life, my Sharam. So, I, on Instagram, I basically had everybody ask me questions and not, well, yeah, on Instagram, but I basically supplied a link for them to ask anonymously. So, we're going to just jump right into this and we're going to go answer these questions. Now, people always ask me all these lash questions, so of course, I'm going to have a bunch of lash questions. But um, it was a variety of questions, so I'm just going to answer them. And so, I'm basically just going to answer all the questions. If they're like questions that's just asked repeatedly, I'm not going to answer it. So, um, well, I'm going to answer it, but I'm not going to keep answering it. So, I'm going to just try everything. Um, oh, y'all, I had no seafood. Mm -hmm. In so long. I'm excited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This should be fire. Okay. I'm just going to do right into it. So, first question is if you had to choose one for the rest of your life, would you rather have the mind of a the mind or body of a 30? Would you have rather have the mind or a body of a 30 year old? Um, I'd rather have a mind because the body be tied out. And baby, I ain't trying to be walking around here having back pains and shit. So I'm gonna have to go with them mine they said how was it starting out as a lash tech i do nails but i'm thinking about doing lashes also um honestly it wasn't that bad um it was pretty cool as far as you know getting clientele and stuff you have to stay consistent like when I say stay consistent, I mean you have to literally stay down. You can't just think you're going to start doing lashes and then think, okay, oh, I'm going to do lashes because so-and-so is doing it. And so-and-so is get, making this amount of money. Like, you know, you have to really want to do it in order for it to be successful. So, for me, I'm going to say... It wasn't a really bad experience because I was consistent and I was going after everything I wanted. Now you're going to host another lash class. We need to be blessed by the boss kings, period. So, actually, y'all, I do have another tour coming up. I'm working on that right now. I have a lot of stuff that I'm working on and I'm doing. So, we're going to do everything one step at a time. But I am working on another tour. So, stay tuned. Where do you see yourself in five years? Y'all, I see myself in five years, like, living in a big, nice-ass house, living in my, like, having my dream car, having real estate, having properties, um, and, you know, just sitting back relaxing. I feel like in five years, I'm already working my ass off, so in five years, I should have at least about 10 passive incomes so I don't have to, you know, work my ass off, how I work my ass off right now. Um... I'm putting all the work in right now so that, you know, in freaking five years, I don't have to be, you know, working like crazy. So, I'm a new lash tech and I have gotten out of the practice stage. I don't have a variety of people that I can practice on. I practice on my dummy and my one cousin let me practice on her. Um, would you recommend giving out free sets? I don't know what direction I should go in. If I can't practice, I won't be able to learn new techniques or even just move faster. Please help. So, I would say definitely use your platform. Use your social media to get your clientele. Like, sorry, y'all. Use your social media to get your, to use for your platform. Um, oh, y'all, I got some garlic bread. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway. Use your social media 
Do some, do some giveaways. Do some free sets. Nothing is wrong with that. You can also like do promotions. You know, um, maybe like if you have like somebody that's popping like in your hometown, maybe you can ask them if can be um your um brand ambassador, and then that way they'll bring you more um clients too. But practice on your mannequin. Practice on your mannequin though. That's a big, big thing. Do you have any tips on moving faster? Also, do you do one eye at a time? So, basically, I kind of move one eye at a time. Um, I feel like the only time I really, like, go do both eyes is when I'm trying to, like, carry up. Or, you know, I had a long day or whatever. And I feel like that'll make me move faster. But, as far as... Tips on moving faster. I don't really have any. Like, mm, sorry. I don't really have any because it's not really anything that you can do to move faster, but practice. Honestly. No question. But you're going to be a millionaire. I remember when I first met you out, your vibe was unmatched. Has to get your Instagram. Proud of you. Period. Who are you? Uh, I love the energy. I love the manifestation. I love everything about it. Like, period. Um, but thank you so much. Mm -mm -mm. Have you dated me before? I've never been in a relationship with a guy ever in life. Um, I have talked to like a guy before. When I was young. But I've never been in a relationship with a guy. I'm a mom, college student, and have a job. But I really want to do lashes more. What advice do you have? I would say, get your mannequin hair if you already have one. Get your mannequin hair. And start practicing every day. If you're not practicing every day, you don't want to do it for real. Because I always tell my students, practice makes perfect. And it seems like you already do last year or don't know how. You just want to start pursuing it. So I always say, let's start practicing. Practice every day. Promote, be consistent. Do you have to be a esthetician to be to do to do lashes where you live? No, you don't. What's the restaurant you ate at with the oxtails in Houston, y'all? I'm gonna have to kill you if I tell you. I'm just playing. It's called uh. Feeling Derrick's. Will you be doing another lash check for 2022? I mean, a last chore for 2022. Yes, I will. What made you get into lashes? Because I used to always travel to, oops, I used to always travel to Atlanta. I did a video on it, so go watch it. But I used to always travel to Atlanta, y'all, and they do lashes real heavy there. So I was like, I want to learn. And I learned, and yeah. How do you have the confidence to come on camera looking the way you do? What you mean, like, because I be looking any type of way? That's funny. That's a funny-ass question. I never even seen this question. That's funny as fuck. But honestly, I don't be giving a fuck. I don't care what nobody think. Like, um, I just don't care what nobody think. Like, shit. At the end of the day, it's a reality. We don't all be cute every, every second of the day, every day of our life. And I just feel like people love me because... I get on this camera and just look anyway. Any type of way. I act myself. I don't wanna be like nobody. Or my damn self. So yeah, I just feel like you have to know that you're still that you're beautiful whether you have on makeup or whether you don't have on makeup, whether you nappy headed, or whether your hair is on. Like you have to know. You that bitch, regardless, okay? 
And I don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. And they say, oh, she'll be having her hair done. She'll be on camera with her hair done. Whatever. Girl, I'll be at work all day every day. I don't need to have my hair done all the time. Only time I get my hair done is when need be. And y'all know how I come when I come. So it don't matter. Um, they said, not a question, but I just love you, Kenzie. You are my inspo. You gave me so much motivation and confidence to start my lash business. Thank you. I love you all so freaking much. Y'all are the best. And y'all always letting me know how much I inspire y'all. And... I love y'all for that. That's, how do you get your lashes to last long and do you work on curly lashes as well? Um, honestly, I don't use sealants or primer or anything like that, but you can try to get like use sealant and primer to make your clients last long lashes last longer. But basically I just isolate correctly and place my lashes on correctly, and that's what makes them last longer. Um What's a great tip for lashes being left-handed? Your girl be struggling. Girl, honestly, I don't even know because even when I train girls that's left-handed, it'd be kind of hard for me. I know my lash certificate certification. I have my lash certification, but I've done about six times. I never came back for fills or anything. I gave up but wanted to give it another try. Any tips? Girl, you just got to shoot. Make them book their appointment before they leave and if it's any problem if they lashes didn't last long if anything went wrong you know reach out to them and ask them like hey is there a reason you didn't come back you know what can i do to fix it can you give me constructive criticism you know don't be afraid to ask them why they didn't come back or you know what was wrong shoot offer them a free something free or half off or something and also like i said <clears throat> have them come back I mean, book their appointment before they even leave so that sorry y'all book their appointment before they even leave so they can come back um you still dating or are you back on the map I'm not on the map baby girl baby boy baby girl I'm not whoever you are I'm not on the map no I'm not um do you like your esthetician program when you were in school? I did. What's something? I just, I did, but I didn't because I only did it because I don't like school and I hate sitting in the classroom for too long. But it was a pretty good program, though. What's something you can't wrap your brain around? Girl, that vaccine. That's one thing I cannot wrap my finger around because I, it's so much I want to do, like travel out across the country and stuff that I can't even do because. I can't wrap my finger, my brain around me getting the vaccine. Like, girl, I'm scared. And I don't know what they doing. What's that up in that? Like, I'm damn near going to get it. But it's just like, oh, my God, I'm so against it. But I have stuff to do. I want to travel. I want to have fun. I want to do do stuff. And it's, like, going to be hard for me to do it because you have to be vaccinated for a lot of stuff. And I feel like they're going to make it mandatory really, really soon. So, yeah, girl, the vaccine. What kind of business, business can you start with no slash limited money? So let me just put you on to something. So what I'm going to suggest you to do is like say you want to sell lip gloss or whatever you want to sell. Um, especially starting off like small. I would say like do pre-orders and then your pre-orders can, can, your pre-orders can pay for your, um, your pre-orders can pay for your inventory and then you'll still get profit from it, you know? Um, so yeah, I would just say that, um, who made your logo scrubs? Um, my logo scrubs, I got those, I actually purchased the scrubs separately and I got them made at the mall. What makeup products do you use? Girl, I use Fit Me for my foundation. I use Tarte Shape, uh, for my concealer. Um, I use Julia's Place, I believe that is, for my contour palette. Um, I use, like, for my brows, I just use a regular brown um liner from the beast Five store and then i use the la pro la pro girl concealer for my to to trace my brows or whatever um and yeah i use other products too but i can't name everything oh i use tina cole cosmetics for my makeup brushes um what do you what do you clean your skin with actually y'all I, I have this turmeric scrub that i got from qc collection i feel like 
I gotta, I gotta think of it. If I could remember, I'm gonna put it on the screen and go follow them her because she, I love their her cleanser and her turmeric face scrub. Um, what are some places to hang out and catch a vibe in Milwaukee? Um, shit, I don't really don't know where y'all. I don't be outside. I be inside. But if you like, hookah, go to Casablanca. Um, you can go bowling. Like I don't really know. A lot of places for real because I don't be nowhere. But um, what? Who did your logo for your brand? His name is Jane. Um, I believe his Instagram is S God J on Instagram. Go follow him. Tell him I sent you. Where did you find your vendor? Uh Honestly, I'm not going to tell y'all where I found my vendor. Everybody keep asking me, like, can I tell them where I get my stuff from? Like, I just feel like, you know, that's just very private to me. Like, I don't think I want to share that information. Mm. Do you still sell lash products, lashes, and glue? Yes, I do, y'all. I actually just posted a sale on my page to so go and... Um, if you're in Milwaukee, you can pull up and purchase some trays. They're seven dollars right now, and then I'm gonna be doing like a big um, restock after I sell all those trays. Can you please make a video on how you make your thank you biz thank you slash business cards? Yes, I got y'all. How do you stay motivated through the times when business was slow? Um, girl, I just have to just pray. And you know, just stay down for the come up. Like, if you be, and y'all, sorry for the smacking. Because one thing about me, when I'm eating good, I'm going to smack. And you can't just not smack in seafood, so I'm sorry. But, um, when you, you know, when business is slow, you have to just keep going. You got to keep going. You got to, nothing, nothing that you can really do to don't make it go faster, but promote and, you know, it's really just word of mouth for real. You got to really promote. And that's all I was doing. I just promoted. I prayed. And, you know, I just stayed down for the come up. And I didn't complain. They said, um, could you give us the game on how to run a business and what kind, what things to avoid? So... Yeah, I'm going to do a separate video on, like, uh, all the business stuff that I know y'all want to know. Um, but how to run a business. <clears throat> you got to be mature. You have to be content with being able to work with all these different people. And know that everybody are not like you. Everybody are not patient. Everybody are not is not kind. And once you understand that, you will get far in life. Because we deal with a lot of different people, you know. And some people are very mean and snotty. So, you have to just know, you know, how to deal with people. And, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm spilling shit everywhere. You have to know, you know, your boundaries. Oh. Um. Um, but things to avoid, I would say spending a lot of money, like, you know, start off small and see how business goes and then go big. That's what I suggest. It's, unless you know your business is going to boom off that, then, you know, go big. But start off small, especially with purchasing inventory, um, see how it goes. If it go good, then you good. How is it maintaining a super work, a super busy work schedule with the dog? Honestly, girl, he be right there with me. <clears throat> like, he go to work with me. He go everywhere with me. Like, and probably not every time that he's not with me unless I like go somewhere in public, but I don't go nowhere, so. <clears throat> he be always there with me. Um, he's pretty chill, and he sleeps a lot, so 
that also helps me because they sleep a lot. Um, and God bless me with a real chill, good dog. Uh, thank God for that. Mm, what is the best and worst part about lashing? Best part is meeting new people, you know, and being able to get everybody reaction when they get out your chair. They love their lashes, like, and just being able to change people's lives. Like, lashes really change people's lives, and teaching too. Like, I teach people so I change people's lives in that way too. When like, people just love me, like, they be like, oh my god, I just love you so much, like. All my, all my, all my clients love them. So, I'm going to say, that's the best part. Meeting new people, <clears throat> gaining a relationship with everybody, different relationships with each and every one of your clients. Um, and they said, what's the bad part? Um, bad part is, it's not really a bad part to it, honestly. Hmm. I mean, I would say the bad. I guess I could say the bad part is like dealing with snotty people. But if you're a people person, you know how to deal with that. Then it's not really so bad about doing lashes. What are some tips on starting a lash business? Take you a training with the right person, and make sure you practicing as soon as you leave from your training. Do promos, get you a brand ambassador, you know, um, get you some flyers made, go pass them out, and stay consistent. I'm going to stay consistent a lot in this video because that's the key. Okay, right, so, what's your favorite food? Nachos. Nachos, seafood, spaghetti. Um, I love cabbage. I like a lot of stuff. I like tuna. I like a lot of food, y'all. Do you want to move on Milwaukee? Yes. Have you ever took someone back after cheating? If so, how did you trust them again? I definitely have took somebody back after cheating. And honestly, you really don't trust them. Like, it's one of the things, it's one of those things where you have to gain the trust back. Like, when somebody cheat, it's not easy for you to just for them best to come back around and everything is normal. Like you gonna be looking at you gonna be looking at their ass upside their head every blue moon. Like ugh, I can't fucking stand you. Like, but if you gonna take them back, make sure that you let them know. You know, you know. I need you. They need to know that they need to gain your trust back. Like don't let them back in and then let them think shit is sweet because they're gonna keep running over your ass. So um, I was saying. Just basically, shit. If you're going to take them back, I mean, you forgave them. You can't keep bringing it up. But it's going to be hard to not bring it up because you're going to keep thinking about it every time you're around them. So, in my experience, I would say, if you're getting cheated on, don't take that nigga back. How do you do a long distance with your girlfriend? You don't feel like she be cheating? Honestly, in the beginning, I did feel like she was cheating. That's how I felt. Only because it's like... You so far away, but she be in Milwaukee half the time, so and she at work majority of the fucking day, so she don't have no special room to be cheating. If she is cheating, bitch, speak up. I'm just playing. But no, she I at first because of course like the situations that we came from and shit, I did think that she was, but if she was, it's in the past and shit, she ain't no more, so But yeah, long distance is not that bad as long as I would say I don't recommend long distance relationship if the person is not driving distance. If the person is driving distance, I recommend it. But it's come that shit comes with too many problems when the person is not driving distance. How to start chaos collection? The ideas, um, girl. I just really thought about like you know how one of my stuff to look. Sorry, y'all. I don't have a nap, but. How one of myself to look, how, what, you know, type of vibe I was going for. And I want to go for the simple, you know, 
like not doing too much kind of vibe and that's basically what i went for and as far as the ideas i really just like make me a move i made me like a whole little mood board collection thing and i just like i have a bunch of inspo on there we'll be dropping more clothes i picked the socks i had i really want the socks yes girl i have a whole collection coming up by Valentine's Day, so stay tuned um how did you get clientele in the beginning i just promoted and i made flyers i'm you know just promoted myself use hashtags too what's one of your long-term goals the last take to become a full-time teacher or just to you know at least start charging like three if i could charge 300 dollars for full sets i'll be good with that how did you manage being in a relationship but also very popular on social media um honestly it's not bad at all like it's it's not bad like if you don't, if you or if you're dealing with an insecure person, it's gonna be bad and it's gonna be cause problems. But honestly, you know, actually, she's not insecure as far as like she's not. She don't. My social media don't bother her. Do you smoke? Not hookah. No, I do not smoke, y'all. I'm fat right now. I got food on my shirt. Oh, I just ate too good. But I'm gonna answer the rest of these questions. We're gonna end this video. Um, so my camera cut off, so I don't even know where I landed off at. But the next question is, do you smoke and not hookah? No, I do not smoke. Only time I smoke marijuana is if I'm, like, at home chilling. Um, and that's rarely. Like, I don't really start to, yeah, no. How did you meet Ashley? I met her on Instagram. Why haven't you and Ashley been together? She's actually on her way here in, like, an hour. Do you ever do reverse your classes for last checks? And also, just because y'all don't see it happening, don't mean it's not happening. Um, do you ever do refresher classes for lash techs? And I'm, y'all see Kenzo, you right here. Um, yes, I do refresher classes all the time. Uh, do you see yourself with being with a guy and building a family? Um, if God wants that for me, then yeah, if that's, I don't know. And I'm time to tell. Can you break down how to start a business in a video? Yes, I got you. Um, who do you spend the most time with? My dog. My dog. Like, literally, he does not go anywhere. I don't go anywhere without him. Ain't that right, Woody? Y'all, and I don't know what's wrong. He won't eat his food. Like, he not eating out his bowl. Like, if I put it in my hand, he'll eat it. I don't know what's wrong with him. Thoughts about body shaming. Uh, is I feel like why would anybody be body shaming anybody? That's so lame. Uh, what's the last concert you've been to? Tiana Taylor. Do you text the person you like or wait to be texted? Definitely wait to be tested. Uh, texted. Um, how do you, how do you feel about divorce? Is it bad? Um, I feel like no, divorce is not bad. If you need to divorce that nigga, divorce that nigga. Cause if he clearly ain't doing something right, nothing's wrong with divorce. Nothing's wrong with starting over either. Um, does it bother you? Does it bother any of your clients that you have a dog inside? No, it does not. Um, would you get surgery? That's the last question. Would I get surgery? I definitely would get surgery. I want a skinny BBL so bad, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all I want a skinny BBL so freaking bad, like, I'm just scared. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna look right. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, like, but I definitely want to skinny be up. Well, I have my phases where I want to skinny be up. I will, I will get my boobs on too, but I have nice boobs already, so I feel like that would just be a waste because it's not a necessity right now. Um, so as far as surgery, I probably will get like a BBL. I want like hips and like a little booty, but that's about it. That's really about it. So yeah, that's all of my questions, y'all. Um, if y'all have any other questions, leave them down below, and I will do another video. I'm not sure, I think. Yeah, that was all the questions. Because I was going to say, people asked me some questions on my Instagram too. But it was dang near the same questions as far as like lashes and stuff like that. And I believe I went, I answered every single question. And yeah, so don't forget to go and use my code. And shop with Rose Forever. Y'all know about times they coming up. Use my code. Go get y'all some roses. Go get your girlfriend some roses. If you're a guy and you're watching this. And don't forget to use my code. I'm going to put it on the video again. And it will also be linked down below if I forget to put it on the video. 
and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so freaking much don't forget to uh, like my video leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel y'all we almost at 10k so please subscribe to my channel and i love y'all so freaking much thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video bye say bye buddy say bye to the people y'all he's so sleepy say bye to the people woody bye